Hey, what's up everyone? It's your friendly neighborhood YouTuber guys. And here we are. We are back at it again with another Predator review. Alright guys, I'm glad that you guys tuned in for this little review. Uh, today we're going to be kind of reviewing figures and also doing comparisons at the same time. Um, as you guys can see right here in front of us, we have three of the McFarlane figures, two which are the same. Uh, one is a little bit different. We have an older uh, Predator 2 figure. Now, these are all Predator 2, Predator 2 figures that we're going to be doing comparisons with. These are these are three right here in the middle are McFarlane. This one, of course, here is NECA. And then here's the newer, more updated version of the uh, Predator 2 figure uh, from NECA Toys. So this was... They never give me a date on here, man. This is... One thing I hate about NECA toys, man, NECA and DC never do that. They never put dates on here um, of when these came out. But I know this was the first Predator to release. Of course, these came before all the Predators. And then McFarlane, I think, lost license to Predator. And that's when NECA took over. And uh, this was their release of the Predator 2 figure. And then some years later... They re-released it in this form right here. So this is kind of the newest version of the Predator 2 City Hunter. So all these guys are City Hunters. Yeah. <laughs> so what we're going to do is let's take this Predator out first. So here is this figure. And you know that... You know, with NECA, you know that these figures are definitely, um, this one is definitely older because usually they don't, they don't come in these packages anymore. They come in these packages now with more accessories and interchangeable heads. So we'll see which one is better, which paint overall is better, which Predator is better. Um, let's see. You know, who knows what McFarlane has to offer as well. I don't want to count out those Predators. Of course, the, the Predators for McFarlane are from, of course, the famous uh, uh, Movie Maniacs series. So we'll take a look at them because they have something to offer that this Predator doesn't have to offer. And being that we have all the Predators out, let's go ahead and take this Predator figure out as well. I mean, you can never have enough Predator figures, you know what I mean? All right. <laughs> and he's missing his face. But not to worry, because I do think it just kind of pegs in. Like so. Nice, nice, guys. Really, really nice. Yeah, you can see the updated version compared. This is the newer City Hunter Predator. Here's the older version right here. I mean, essentially, they it, it does look the same. It's just different paint apps. Let me peg this in here. I don't know how long it's going to stay in there. Probably not long. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, it's the same Predator sculpt. It's just painted differently. I mean, the face on the sculpt is really uh, is really nicely done. Here's the interchangeable head, and I can just I can just kind of tell by looking at this guy. He's going to be a pain in the butt to try to get this head off. Ugh. Actually, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was. Whoops! Sorry about that, guys. <sighs> That's what happens when you're dealing with a, a uh, unprofessional. So let's just pet it, put on this head sculpt just for the time being. I don't know how the hell that popped off. Okay. Now, most of these figures I got are loose. Even the package ones. So, yeah, here's how this Predator... Yeah. This City Hunter Predator, man, the dark around his eyes, it, they don't look right. You know what I mean? He looks better with the mask on. 
where this one he's got a nice face sculpt I mean I do like the dark colors right here that are coming off where the hell did this pop off oh look and this snapped off already dude that quickly okay not too shabby I mean being that they're the same sculpt let's see I wonder this head sculpt will probably look better on this predator let's see how he looks so actually it might be a different uh, peg this peg might be thicker I hate when NECA does that man I hate when they give us a thicker peg than what we're accustomed to having we can't do any proper head swappage dude so that really sucks so I can't really but that's how he would look but the face on this guy is not too bad yeah I really really like the face sculpt overall to this predator and I like how they made it back in the day to where the gun <coughs> the shoulder cannon just kind of raised up like that it's very delicate and you can push it back like that to move it out the way of course it's broke off the design for the predators back in the day wasn't really sound yet but the detail was still very nice I just don't really like this head sculpt right here but we'll leave it on for the time being as you can see it's just kind of repainted version I do like the darker overall colors on this guy and as you can see on the armor it has kind of like a blue wash to it like a blue you know like it's been tarnished where this one is not so much there's not so much detail on it pretty much the same everything is just repainted but I definitely do like this blue a little bit more better it gives off a real, real awesome feeling like he's like standing in the moonlight. You know what I mean? And the moonlight is hitting. Oh, yeah, he's missing something here, too. Actually, let's check out his accessories. Oh, yeah, he does come with a skull. How many times have we seen a skull and a spine? How many, how many reviews have I done the past couple of months where I've reviewed uh, action figures that have skulls and spines attached? So here are all the interchangeable hands. I'm just kind of going to kind of leave them in there. Um, he does come with his spear, his retractable spear that's uh, being retract. This effect right here, I'm guessing it has to plug into this, which popped off on me. So it would probably go right there, which I don't really care too much for that effect. So, <clears throat> the spinal cord is a nice touch. I do like the spinal cord and skull. So, yeah, those are the accessories he came with. Oh, yeah, he also came with this right here. Look at this thing. This is nice, man. This is nice and solid. Actually, it probably would go better with this guy right here. Because it kind of looks like the color. But I don't have any other interchangeable hands I can give him to where he can hold this. Okay, so let's compare uh, these figures with some NECA. I'm definitely going to switch this mask back on because I do like this, uh, the head sculpt mask a little bit better on this Predator. Okay, so let's check out uh, some Predators. Let's bring in this one Predator right here because the other two Predators are missing the shoulder pieces right here a youtuber brought this up to me i forget your name i don't know if you're watching or not but he when i did the review of hornhead predator yeah he was like yeah man you're missing the shoulder pad right here i didn't even realize for that hornhead predator because i got him brand new in package and he was missing a shoulder pad whatever happened to that shoulder pad i have no idea let's see are there a year on here let's see neca this is 2011 so this figure was from 2011 right here. This one was from 2018. 
So yeah, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So yeah, eight, eight years, seven years, seven years later, they re-released this guy to this one. So this is a 2011, this is 2018. So this just came out, what, last year? The City Hunter Predator? It's hard to believe it came out last year. Where the hell was I last year? I wasn't collecting uh, Predator figures as well. And these McFarlane figures, I'm sure they came out in the early 2000s. Uh, possibly 2001, I'm guessing, around that time, 2002. But yeah, you can see the dramatic change. Even though he's a pretty good predator, I mean, he's a nice predator. Um, and he's actually a really well articulated for a McFarland man. It's very surprising how well articulated he is. The brakes may seem weird. Uh, this is the battle damage predator right here. He has all these breaks. The breaks at the upper torso, breaks at the waist. He does have a ball joint. His uh, leg, his uh, head is on a good ball joint. He's got uh, butterfly shoulder joints. He's got a break right here at the upper bicep. So yeah, articulation. I have to give to McFarland. I can't believe I'm saying that, but yeah, the articulation is way better on these McFarland movie maniac predators. Um, breaks right here, his legs are on a ball joint, he's got breaks right here, he's got ankle movements, and I love the splattered effect, and one thing that this predator has, the other predators don't have, being that he's battle damaged, his arm pops off, and at least I think it pops off, <laughs> or did I rip it off? It really pops off and it exposes uh, battle damage predator and hopefully that plug plugs back in. It looks like the peg popped off, but uh, it pops in there easily. That's that's McFarlane for you, man. But yeah, essentially it's the same predators except for this one right here, which is not uh, damaged, um, battle damaged. But essentially it's the same damn predator except he has the open mouse, mouse, open mouth. But it's he's missing a tusk, but I don't know if that's because he's battle damage or he's just missing a tusk. I'm guessing because he's missing a tusk. He's got a, he got his tooth pulled. So this is how this predator measures up against this predator. I mean, it's not so bad. I mean, the body proportion is a little off, being that it is an older figure. Um. Like I said, uh, NECA right now has mastered the Predator figure. I mean, this is what they gave us. This was, say, this was 2001, 2002. Here's 2011. So 10 years later, this is what they gave us right here. And then 10 years from here, this is what they gave us right here. So overall, better color on this newer Predator, but the head sculpt is actually better on this Predator, the 2011 Predator. So I think the 2011 City Predator 2 has the best head sculpt out of all the Predators, man. And his body, don't get me wrong, his body is really, really nice as well. It's it's really, really movie accurate as well, if you guys, if you guys seen Predator 2. Uh, but the detail on this guy, I think is a little bit better. The dark, The darker colors work for this guy. And let me take this head off again and put this head back on here. And yeah, this head sculpt looks way, way better um, on this figure. So yeah, man. Um, yeah, this guy definitely wins. Uh, because he comes with interchangeable hand, uh, head and more accessories. But the overall look, this 2011 Predator is actually really nice. So if you guys are looking to pick up a Predator 2 figure, if you like a, if you like the movie Pre Predator 2 like I do, if you're looking to pick up a City Hunter, I definitely do recommend... Because these, these are just dated figures. Even though they're classic figures, they're dated. And look at the head the size comparison too. This is the right size right here This for the Predator. It might be a little bit oversized, but that's the Predator's head, you know what I mean? Compared to the small head McFarlane Predators. And you can see height-wise, too, that the NECA is way taller as well. The dreads, everything everything about this Predator is done very nicely, guys. So, yeah, there was McFarlane. And like, <laughs> dude, you see that? It was a domino effect. 
<laughs> yeah, and these older uh, McFarlane Predators, they don't stand up all that well great. Great at all, man. Um, I do like the mask version of this Predator, but... Um, listen, I guess it kind of depends on what you're looking for. I don't really recommend any of the McFarlane Predator figures unless you guys are still collecting movie maniac figures, you know, from, you know, back in the day. Uh, if you're looking for a good City Hunter Predator and you like them unmasked, then I think the 2000 and... What did I say this was? 2011? Yeah, 2011 Predator is a really, really solid Predator 2 figure, man. Uh, the reboot from 2018 is actually not too bad. He does come with the mask, which if you're looking for the Predator with the mask, then yeah, he's definitely a really, really awesome pickup. And I do, I do like the paint apps uh, on both of these figures. Both of them are really, really nice, man. I do like the darker color for this Predator. I do like the blue uh, that he has. And this opens up as well. It shows you his little detonator right there, which the other Predators, McFarlane Predator figures, let's see, do they have that? Yeah, they open. That one does, anyways. The battle damaged one, no, because it's battle damaged. Um, and this one doesn't have, doesn't have the detonator, guys. Oh, wait. It does, but it's not It's not open. It's not posable. Because this is a little bit different than this one right here, as you guys can see. Oh, and there was a piece that popped off. Blades are very nice. This blade is very nice. The blade on this one pops out very nicely as well. So I think it's kind of a tie between the two NECA Predators, man. Like I said, if you're looking for a good mask version, the 2018 one is really, really good. If you want the unmasked, a better unmasked version, then this 2011 uh, Predator 2 figure is really, really awesome, man. And they're both very similar. They're both, you know, very, very much the same. And two, and also the feet too is different too. This older Predator right here has bigger feet compared to this newer Predator, which has smaller feet. And he has more orange skin too. A darker orange skin. There's Predator's butt. Overall, I both like these Predators, man. McFarlane, like I said, not so much. I think they're dated figures. Uh, but I do like both of these Predators. So I definitely do recommend these Predators, guys, if you're looking to pick up some Predator 2 figures. Maybe you might own these figures. Maybe, you know, you were looking for, you know, the right Predator 2 figure uh, to put them with, to put your, you know, to put these guys in your collection with. So I actually recommend both of these. 2018 for the Unmask, and then for the 2011, the Unmask version. Both very, very, very awesome figures. I like them both, guys. I highly, highly recommend um, this piece. And this staff right here with this Predator 2 goes better with this one. I'm going to have to find some closed hands uh, for this Predator, Predator 2 for him to hold this weapon. Because I really, really want him to hold this weapon right here. So... And I can have this guy hold the skull. <laughs> right, right, why not? Or, yeah, I can have him hold the skull. Or maybe in this hand. Let's see. Can I pop this out? It looks like this is the skull holding hand right here. So if you want him holding the skull, like so. Let's see how hard this is going to be to pop out. Might have to be warmed up. Let's pop this one in just to see how it looks. How he looks holding the skull. Yeah, dude, look at that. Look how badass that is. I like that a lot, man. And I'll definitely give the uh, his weapon, his staff to this guy when I find some other interchangeable hands that will match the texture of this guy's hands. So... All right, guys, yeah, I definitely recommend them both. So I'll give you my rating, and then I'll let you go on your way. I can't believe that this has been a 20-minute video, but then again, I am reviewing five action figures here. Okay, guys, so 
Um, McFarlane figures, I'm going to give a 6 to the McFarlane figures. Uh, these NECA figures, I'm going to give a solid 8 to these NECA figures, man. Both uh, NECA figures, uh, Predator figures are really, really awesome. They've mastered the Predator, man. NECA has killed it with Predator figures. They do an amazing job. I highly, highly recommend these pieces. Yeah, a solid 8 for both these figures. So if you're looking to pick up some cool Predator 2 City Hunter Predators, I definitely recommend NECA. All right, guys, so there was my little review. I can't believe this video lasted this long. Jeez, man, jeez. So if you guys sat with me through all that, I just want to say thank you. And if you guys like this little review, hit the like button, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you want to receive more cool, awesome, epic reviews like this. And there you guys have it. There was my little Predator 2, NECA versus McFarlane versus Old versus New. And there you guys have it. Just want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next review.